Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tally Learning World. In today's video, we will discuss about how to use billwise details in Tally Prime. So, I will be going to create a new company. And I have selected the country as India and the state called Karnataka. I will press Ctrl A to save the screen. So once the company got created successfully, you will get a message that enable the company features. So here we have the first feature maintain accounts and the second feature we have enable billwise entry. As you guys can see by default the option billwise entry is already enabled. I will press Ctrl A to save the screen. So once the company got created successfully, let me create some ledgers. To create a ledgers, I'll go to create ledger. So here I'll give the name of the party as creditors, group under sundry creditors and enable the option maintain balances bill by bill to S and I'll specify some credit days as five days. I'll press control A. Then I'll create a purchase ledger group under purchase account and I'll press control A. So let me record a transaction. To record a transaction of purchase, I'll go to the voucher that is purchase voucher. I'm going to record a voucher in an accounting mode. I'll ensure that in F2 wealth, use default for bill allocation option is set to no to get the bill voice detail screen. So I'll give some supplier invoice number and I'll select the party name as creditors. I'll press Ctrl A. Again, Ctrl A for the party details screen. I'll select the purchase ledger and enter the sum of the value and try to enter. As you can see, the type of reference, it's by default, it's taking as new reference. I'll press Ctrl A to save the report. So to check the report, we can press Alt G and I'll type here outstanding outstanding receivables or payables all to g i'll type here bills payable as you can see the bills payable report it's been displayed the amount as thousand rupees is pending so if you want to record the voucher to clear this balances of your purchase will go to the voucher and will record a payment and will select either cash or bank uh, as a mode of payment I'll select the party name as creditors and enter the value of thousand rupees as you can see the type of reference it's coming as against reference I'll select the against reference whatever the bill it's was pending the pending bill it's been appearing I'll try to select accept Control A to so the, accept the voucher. Now, if you want to see the bill which has been pending, so which has been cleared from the gateway of tally, if I press Alt G, now if I see bills payable report, so there is the balance has been cleared. So, if you want to see the pending bills from the gateway of tally, you have to go to display statement of accounts outstanding. You can go either receivables or payable. The pending bills will display here. If you want to see the cleared bill which has been already made a payment, so you can go to ledger, select that particular ledger, then press Ctrl B. So type of bill here select as all bills and try to press accept. As you can see, the voucher has been displayed and the amount it's showing us blank there is no pending amount so how to adjust the bill wise it's been clear to you all if you want any more clarity and this you can go to gateway of tally display statement of accounts outstanding you can see the group wise as well as your based on your group you can see the pending bills
hope you have understood the video i hope everybody have understood this concept of bill wise so thank you for watching my video for more videos kindly subscribe to my channel tally learning world and press the bell icon thank you